Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and in this tutorial we are going to talk about color correction and setting the accurate white balance for images. I will show you how to use automatic adjustments with the curves adjustment layer and then I will also show you how to make manual corrections. So for this image, to set the accurate white balance or accurate colors, I'm going to choose the curves adjustment layer. And from this panel, I will choose the gray eyedropper tool to set the gray point on the image. And because I know that this box, the master collection for CS5, it's a gray color, I will click on this and that will turn my image into its proper colors. So now we can turn on and off this curves adjustment to see before and see after. And what happens in the background is that Photoshop changes the intensity of the color channels separately. And if you look at the curves now, you'll see that Photoshop increased the intensity of blue and decreased the intensity of red. The diagonal line is the zero level, so everything goes above that will be increased and everything goes below it will be decreased. So now try to apply the same technique to another image. I open this image and I will use the curves adjustment. Now, instead of using the grey eyedropper, I will use the white eyedropper because I know that some of the stripes here should be white. So I click on them to set them as white points on the image and according to that change I can quickly correct all the colors on the whole image. We can also do this manually if we reset the adjustment layer by clicking on this arrow we can go into a manual correction by clicking on RGB and selecting the channels separately. Every photograph is made up of red, green and blue colors. This is specific to the RGB images that we work with. And on this image I can easily tell that there are too much blue. So I need to decrease blues. So I select blue channel and I click in the middle and I just drag it down like this. I also need to increase reds. It's easy to tell that I, the image lacks reds. So I select red and then I move it up to add more reds to the image. And maybe I can move greens a little bit down too. So I select green and I move that down a little bit just like this. If I want to also increase the brightness of the image, I can do that on the RGB channel, so the composite channel, I select that, and I move the curve up in the composite channel. As you can see, it's very similar to the automatic adjustment that we created with setting the white point with the white eyedropper tool, but I prefer using manual corrections like this. I would like to show you also another example and there are two images here in bridge for me. The same photograph saved as a JPEG and as a camera raw file, the original camera raw file. Now here you can see that the camera raw file is 10 times larger in file size than the JPEG file. What is the advantage of the camera raw file then? You will see when we set the white balance. If I want to use the Camera Raw engine, the Adobe Camera Raw engine, to set the white balance, I can also do that on a JPEG file by right-clicking on it and choose Open in Camera Raw from Bridge. Then I will get this option where I also have an eyedropper, this one here on the top, white balance tool and with this I just click on the background where I have white colors. Now as you can see we changed all the colors on the image but it's not really a good result. It's better than it was before if you check before I just turn off the preview we see the image before 
and then we see the image after but it's not the best let's do the same with the camera raw file I go back to bridge and I double click on this camera raw file which automatically opens in Adobe camera raw and I use the same white balance tool and I click on the background and you see that we set the white balance hence we have a really nice color corrected image so again another great advantage of using camera raw files is that we have much more control over setting the accurate white balance than with JPEG files. In the next episode I will talk about how to work properly with the brush tool. So stay tuned and see you next time. Thanks a lot for your attention.